Greetings and salutations from Aluminum Custom Painting. It is Friday. So a couple days ago, a buddy of mine stops in the shop, plops himself down, says to me, Hey, bud, I got a problem. I said, which one? He said, no, seriously. I said, well, how can I help? He said, I'm out of room. I said, you're out of room for what? He said, the kids. Well, I'm going to tell y'all something. We're all in the same boat. Um, we're all plastaholics. And when is enough enough? Now, I sat here for a day or so afterwards. I thought about how I could approach this and what I do. And there's several different avenues that you can pursue. Now, I will preface this with this. This is episode and maybe another one maybe two more is not for the collectors because we are going to rape burn and pillage kits no pristine no cellophane stain wrap that's you guys bailiwick god bless you but that's not what this is going to be about so let's start off with who's your best friend these are your best friends okay to take the steps that we're going to take all right that one and this one okay now you got boxes galore okay simply remove the kit from the box and slide it into the back okay then what you're going to do is make sure that you have the instructions as to what kit it is. Okay? It's one way of doing it. Now, another way of doing it. Hang on a second. Is to either take all of the parts off the trees. Now what you can do is you can take these small bags, okay, cut it all down, put your motor, your interior, your um, your frame parts and everything, keep them separate, okay. Now, like I said, there's several different ways of approaching this. What are you going to do with these kits? Okay. When I first started out with the custom painting, I was buying 10, 12, 15 of the same kits. Now, my dumbass wasn't smart enough coming out of the gate to demand a return body. Caught on pretty quick when I had 10 1969 Ravel Camaros sitting there with no body parts, no glass, etc. However, I did have all these parts. So, what we used to do, Kathy and I would sit down and we would cut these all up. Okay? Now, let's get to that. First off, if you don't want to go through sitting there cutting all the parts off, okay? You want to get this down to a size that you can deal with. Okay? Now, say you've got 15 of these funny car kits. Okay. Now, where's the last one? There it is. All right. See there? Now you're already down to this. Okay. Now you can wrap these in the tissue paper or toilet paper or whatever. Slide them in. Now you could probably fit 15 of these in here easily. Okay? Now, you can usually fold them over. And that's a hell of a lot less room than what the boxes are going to take up. Right? So, as I indicated earlier,
as I said, I had all of these Camaro kits. What to do? Now these are just some of them. <laughs> sad, 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 sad. You take all these frames, put them in one bag, okay? Take all the interior parts, all of it. The dash, the side panels, etc., etc. Cut them up, put them all in one bag. Like I said, the choice is yours. Okay? Now, I am not going to use these parts. Okay? I'm just not going to. At least, why it's not right now. Probably sell them down the road. You can do that too. When it comes to your motors, okay? Um, say the AMT 1966 Nova. Okay, the Pro Street. That's a beautiful little small block Chevy. Now you can put that in a plethora of subjects, right? So what you do is you cut all those parts off. Same thing with the chrome. Wrap it up, protect the chrome. Okay, put them in this bag, or if you remember the uh, those small bags that I indicated. Uh, in the last episode and this way you mark them okay you get a small box okay and put all your Chevy motors in there this way all you have to do open up the box if you're gonna build say you wanna put a small block Chevy in one of the 55's okay so go over open up the box it's labeled pull it out you're in hubs you don't have to be digging through parts boxes and everything else like that. Also, what you can do too, if you have, say, 10 of one kit, all right, you can keep two, okay? You can break it down like this and go from there. You're not going to use all of these, okay? So if you put this into long-term storage, whatever you want to do, then what you want to do, and you know, we'll we'll touch on this a little bit further down the road about going where to go to get storage and everything else like that. Now, I realize that this is just the start, okay? But the thing of it is, is, and I'm guilty of it just as much, if not more, than anybody else. With the custom painting, I'm usually buying four and five of the same kit and you just run out of space so this is the start of what we're going to approach okay once we get these broken down and in a manageable state of affairs then what you can do too is you get the larger storage containers okay then what you can get is you got a container yay big by yay wide, by yay tall. Now you can fit, if you break these down like this, you can fit 30, 40 kits in it. All of them labeled. You know, they've got the, they've got the little square on them, the white square, and you just take an indelible marker and mark 69 Camaro or 66 Nova, whatever it is. And put them in the bags. Put them in the big container, and I'm going to tell you what, you'd be amazed how much more room that you have in your shop. And I realized that, you know, oh, this, this had nothing. Yes, it does. This has a lot to do with modeling. It really does. Now, there's other containers. We'll probably cover that the next episode, where you can get them, the uses for them, etc. This is all part of the modeling, boys and girls and it is a problem and I'm just as guilty if not anybody as as well as anybody else because like I said it gets to the point where it's it's almost unmanageable and then you forget what you have etc etc alright I hope this helped a little bit this is just the start we'll probably do one more we'll go in a little bit more in depth as to what you know the do's the don'ts and what you can grab and we'll go from there so from Lone Wolf Custom Painting, from Jake and I, God bless. Have yourself a great weekend, and we'll catch you next Friday. We're out.